We continue our journey in the Reaper Preferences in the tab Media Items Default to understand what all the options present in it are for and how to set them up to adapt Reaper to your workflow. Create automatic fade-in, fade-out for new item's length. It's usually set to 10 milliseconds. To show you everything more clearly, I set it to half second. Go into the item and split it. The fade out and the fade in are automatically created at a set value. You can adjust it with the mouse as desired, holding shift down and move the entire splitting area. Right click to select the shape type of fade edge. Do not set fade in, fade out for imported items. Unchecked by default. When I import an item, it has a fade in and fade out, not desirable on samples like these due formats. So by checking this box, every item imported into the project would not have faded edges. Overlap and cross fade items when splitting length. You've just seen that in splitting the item, a fade out and fade in were created. Instead. If you want to have an overlap between the two new segments, I said half second just to highlight it more, by checking the box and dividing the item, a crossfade zone is created between the two sections. You can always shift it, change the edge type and so on, as you have seen earlier. By not checking the box, you would get the separation you already know. You have already seen that you can not change the shape of the fade with a right click. If you need to set a default, use default fade in fade out shape to change the default. You will choose the most appropriate one and you will have it on every cut. For example, this straight one. Redoing the cut now is the time set. The default crossfade shape determines the shape of the edges in the crossfade. For example, if you want to have a crossfade that it's always straight, you choose it here, and from this moment on, each crossfade will have that shape. I also want to show you what happens by pointing the mouse at the center of the crossfade. You can adjust its progress or by holding down the shift key, move the entire area, standing in the center, look at the cursor, right click and change both sides of the crossfade and go into the editor, edit the presets, Equal game power, change the types of curves by setting each parameter such as the inclination, the center of the curvature, start, end, length, etc. And also go to play to understand the final result. These are advanced operations that I invite you to consider and to explore. Right click on crossfade sets fade shape for only one side of the crossfade, shift toggles. This option doesn't seem to work, as you have already seen, everything is done easily with the positioning of the mouse. By activating or deactivating this box, there is no change in Reaper's behavior. To be sure of this, I asked three friends to do some tests and show me how to do it. Giuseppe Novella, who has a nice video channel to which I invite you to subscribe, has come to the same conclusion as me. The same Aria Afshar of the IDDQD Sound channel, also with an excellent video channel, of which you can find the link down below. Came up to the same conclusions. I also asked Kenny Joya, whose Reaper's Mania channel, as I guess you all know, the link is here in the description, who replied that he will try to check it. At the time of this video, I have not received a response yet. I guess he have not yet had the opportunity to go deep into this function. Maybe he will come to the same conclusion, maybe not. In case he will tell me the exact function of this feature, I will make a short video specifically to illustrate it. In the absence of an answer, and in the absence of a change in a Reaper's behavior, with or without this function, this option is to be considered an oversight in the settings and the form must be completely ignored, as it was for look media items in project directory before qualified path, which I showed you in the project tab tutorial here above and down below in the link. But is it really an oversight? I don't know, let me speculate a bit. It may be that, following the caucus philosophy, it's left there to ensure compatibility with very old projects, dating back to older Reaper versions, where the settings were valid. Maybe. Enable automatic fade-in, fade-out and auto-crossfade for MIDI note velocity. 
In the case of audio items, by enabling crossfade on the main toolbar, overlap the items creates an automatic crossfade. But for media items, this is not the case. By enabling this option, the MIDI items will also have the crossfade when overlapped. Loop source for important items. Normally activated, when an audio file is imported, the item created is automatically looped. If you don't wish to have this feature, disable this option, and when you import a file, the item created is no longer looped. Those imported before the option changes remain unchanged. What you have seen for the audio items with loop source for new MIDI items also applies to the new MIDI items. In this case, by default, they are looped. If you disable this option, creating a new MIDI item, as I am doing now, is not considered as looped. We'll listen to it. Loop source for recorded items. The recorded items are considered looped. I show you here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, by dragging the right front with the mouse, the recorded item is placed in a loop. Instead, by deactivating this function and going to record, one, two, three, one, two, three. Repeating the operation, you see that it is no longer a loop. Time selection or to punch all your recording creates a loopable section. When you punch in, the sections you create are considered loops. Let's see together. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I record a track. I go to the record button. Right click and select auto punch. I set the duration and in options, I select the tape mode for convenience of exposure. Go to record. One two one two one two one two one two three. Now I drag the right front, and here is the item recorded with pan sheen is a loop. Loop source for glued items. It's active by default. This item is not looped. Now I split it and perform a glue item by right-clicking Glue Items. The resultant is a loop. Repeating the operation but with this option disabled, the resultant is no longer a loop. Trim content behind media items when editing. Normally deactivated, so by overlapping the items, a crossfade is generated between the two. If you turn off crossfade, they simply overlap each other without transition. One, two, three, one, two, three. By activating this option, the item that's not selected, the fall behind, is totally cut off. So the cut area is no longer available. One, one, two. Consider supporting the channel by becoming a Patreon simply by making a free offer. The links are down below. That's it for the moment. Thanks for watching.